Right, guys, we are going to be recording here. Welcome. If you guys are watching on YouTube, this is going to be a mission for Cole. This should be the third rotating one out of Nothing God knows how many there, there are. But this one's called Prison Break. So if you do have to get Prison Break and you get this week's Prison Break, I'm not too sure the challenges will ever change in the future. But as of right now, the ones that we are currently doing is make sure we complete the mission without dying and without being veiled. Should be pretty straightforward. Don't die foreheads. Um, remove five veils using veil breaker. We'll show you where these are. Kill uh, or destroy five of the sentient immunodes. Or whatever. I don't have to pronounce these, but you'll get this basically passively done anyways because you'll run into these quite a lot. But I'll just show you some locations for them anyways. The passwords, we're going to go ahead and show you where they are. The gene stamps, you guys should be familiar with this if you've done the previous two car missions and the Carl's missing floof. Uh, I'll show you a few locations that I found. Also the Soma cords. As always, what I am going to do is timestamp everything down below so you can always just skip to the part that you guys want. But without further ado, we'll just go and jump straight into it um, and get straight into that as well. But I have run this mission a few times. You're going to be quite familiar with this mission because it's basically the Veil... Um, what's the quest called? <laughs> veil Breaker. It's basically the Veil Breaker quest. So, so you should be familiar with this area. It's not that different. So as we land, there's nothing down in this area. You will have your jetpack to start off with straight away. You'll also have your Gracketa to start off with as well. So you've got your gun, you've got your melee, and you've got your jetpack. So you'll have this straight off of the bat. You can get hit by these, and there is a dead guard here as well but you can try and bait it out a little bit they shouldn't kill you so don't worry and i am going to talk about these briefly they, there are these walls and um you'll see like see how it's kind of like got a how do i explain this it's kind of broken but anyways this wall you can go ahead and destroy it in your command mode when we get a when we recruit someone um but i haven't found anything to do in there if you do happen to find anything especially in the future challenges or the future weeks let me know inside the comment section all right but i don't know what you can do with that right now so uh, this section, they're just going to spawn a couple, but I'm just going to try and get straight to the point for you guys. Okay, so let's go over here. And there should just be a dead body in here for your first gene stamp, if it is this one. Yeah. Now, what's really weird about this one is that it doesn't, like, light up, but you are going to have to jump on top of this body. The others should really light up, so don't worry about it. Um, as always, if you guys have the proto via armor, you guys can go ahead and get your challenge done with the proto via. You can put proto via armor on your coal and you can go ahead and upgrade and evolve your proto via armor. So if you see that at the bottom um, on my screen and you don't know what that is, that's basically what I'm doing. I'm just evolving my proto via armor. I'm going to show you on both of these sides. These are mostly just gene stamps. There's nothing else for you to go and collect here. So there's nothing else there as well. Right. It's, a, it's quite a big tile set, so it's relatively a longish mission. I'm going to try and cut it down as much as I can, but do bear with me. If you end up watching the video in two times speeds and then slow it down, feel free to go and do that because we got a lot to go and get through, okay? So inside this area, there's going to be three bodies that you can go and see. There's two here, one there, one there, and there's one on the back. So I'll just show where the last one is. There's one down there as well. Um, so you can check these guys for gene stamps uh, if they do happen to have any. Nope. Um, and that's all you basically need to know in this area. Whenever you're just rescuing your brothers, you should know how to do this. You've done the Veilbreaker quest. Just basically activate it, kill some enemies nearby. Um, you don't have to kill them. It's optional. If you can just survive and ignore them, feel free to go and do that. Um, then what's going to happen in a moment is it's going to give me a zone to stand in like this. I'm going to stand in the zone, stay in the zone. And uh, that's slowly going to tick the field disruption up in the top. That's going to reach 100. And then I'm going to be able to go and free our brother. And that's mostly about it. Pretty straightforward. It's mostly just the waiting. <laughs> the waiting's a little tedious. So here we go. Uh, grab that guy. And then we go down here. So we're going to go ahead and get command modes. My command mode is G. Whatever your command mode is, if you're on console, it should say at the top. And then you're just simply going to left click and he's going to blow it up, okay? Uh, this is going to be one of the very first veil breakers that you're going to need here, or veils to remove off of them. Once again, you're going to use your third ability. Use your third ability to stun them. Then you're going to remove the veil. You're basically going to go and tap E. You should be familiar with this before. Again, um, if you haven't done it or for some reason you can't remember it, you can always go to the accessibility options. And if you can't tap E for whatever reason, you can go ahead and uh, don't mind my sub alert. If you can't uh, tap E for some reason, uh, you can go ahead and just uh, use the accessibility option to hold E rather than tap E as well. <laughs> 
Right, uh, we're now going to go and activate this one as well. Lucifer, thank you so much for 21 months. How are you, buddy? So sim again. It's kind of like a little mobile defense, if you will. It's not the most enjoyable of things going to do. Uh, inside this area, you're mostly just going. So you can go and command you guys to hold here as well. So whilst they hold here, you can go to the next one. Always better to kind of send them on the first one and then you go to the next one because I can reposition probably down here is where I think it's going to be. See, so we're going to be somewhere along here. There it is. There you go. So here's where the next one is. Unless if it's, it could start down here, then it could end up up there. So um, just reposition yourself so that you don't have to reposition your team. And then this one's almost done and I can jetpack up there a lot quicker than what my team can anyways. 97, 98, 99. Okay, we're done. So, I wish I could do both of these at the same time. I think it would be a bit nicer. So, I'm now just recording my group towards me. And I'm just going to go over here towards this one. There's a gene stamp back there that you can see flashing. Let's tell my team to hold there for a second. And we can go access that gene stamp. Okay, so there is a dead guard right here. There's not too many dead guards in this area. But uh, if you need to go and have a little rummage around, please feel free to go and do so. Again, you know what the gene stamps are. You know where to get them. You will always go and get them off like uh, dead guards and so forth. It might take my team a little bit of time to get to this one. So instead, I'm going to stand on it because my team takes, as you can see, look, they're still falling down. So if you just send them straight here, the odds are they're not going to get here before you. So if you can, you just tell them to stand here and you get in here first. And then whilst you're moving towards this one, hopefully, if I turn back around... God, they're still not even in there yet. Oh. Okay, now they are. Okay, we're good. <laughs> they take so long to get there, unfortunately. Just AI coding. Not much else we can do there. Just use the melee on those guys. Takes them down a bit quicker. Right, 90, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99. Awesome. And I'm just going to fly up here and grab this one. Now, there is actually a broken wall in this area. And I can go and give you an, a demonstration and an example of the broken wall. If I can find out where it is. It's, it's this part here. So if I just go up here, you see how like this kind of stands out like that? This is what I mean by the broken wall at the beginning. You could basically get your group or get someone in your group. So it'll probably be this person now. And they can go ahead and blow this uh, wall up. Again, I don't know what it does. I don't know what's even supposed to be in there. There's nothing so far. But there you go. All right, it's just part of the tile set. I'm pretty certain the Murex ships have this anyways, um, when you have your Warframe on the Murexes. Uh, but otherwise, I don't think there's anything else inside this area. I don't believe there is. I've done this run a few times, but I'm going to quickly skip over here. Oh, there is this guy. There we go. So there was something else in this area. Make sure you go and get your Veil after this one as well. So we just need five of these guys. How many, how many is that that I got there? Is that two of them that I've got or is that three? I'm not too sure. It might be two or three. And these things here, these are the Im, uh, immune nodes, right? So this is what I was talking about. You'll run into these an awful lot, so don't worry. Actually, this room, I can show you a few things, which is great. So uh, basically, you can just tell your team to blow it up. Okay, never mind. They've somehow prioritized this instead. But if you see these lumps of rocks here... Okay, so as I was saying, the immune nodes. Um, <laughs> so they basically blow up the immune nodes. That's what they've just done there. So that's how you'd blow those ones up. Uh, in Later in the mission, you will have to do these a few times. This, however, is part of the secret codes. Now, if I actually jump up behind it and show you, there is actually a secret code behind it. Can I see it from here? I know sometimes you can see them, but this one might be underneath. But if you see this rock here, as you can see, it's glowing anyways. You just want one of your teams to go and blow it up. There you go. And then there's going to be a, like a little icon. You're going to need four of these passwords. And then you're going to be able to open a cache at the end. And again, you can always skip the video if you don't know what the cache looks like. I also got a gene stamp here as well. Um, but yeah, the, the cache is right at the end. It's always at the end. All right. In case that's not been cleared. From what we're aware of, it's always at the end. It hasn't rotated anywhere else so far. So now I should be able to continue onwards. I'm pretty certain I checked everything. Did I check down there? Oh, it's just another immune nodes. Uh, again, you guys can go and blow it up if you wanted to. Oh, there's actually another one down here. Okay, that's good. I could have missed this one. 
Um, there could be a floof in this area, um, but there's not one here so far. Um, I do have a few clips of the floof in case I happen to miss it on this run. I can always go and edit the floof in, so don't worry. And these are these are codes are not always set either so you are going to have to check pretty much every single room the floof i don't believe is set the codes i don't believe are set there's so many of these that you'll be okay and there's so many dead bodies for gene stamps that you should be okay as well besides from that you just need the five veil breakers um from the nama guards and you just need to survive just don't die um surviving on this mission should generally be quite easy um up until towards kind of like the last area you could end up dying i've not seen this part this is like the third run that i've done but i've not seen this exact tile set part here um okay well there's two there if i wanted to but i don't think that opens the door but yes again you would just go and tell them to detonate if you want to but like i said there's so many of them inside a mission so you don't have to worry too too much and there's nothing else there. I just wanted to go and check because I haven't got that part. Now, the map can go ahead and rotate. So you may end up finding different sections. Some sections, like the one I'm in right here right now. This is set. This is like my third, fourth run doing this. Um, and I've seen this part every single time. But that run there, or that room there, uh, I've not seen that. So some, some rooms are going to be a little bit different. Some areas are going to be a little bit different. But this area here is quite important. So... Um, Let's go and go straight into it. You don't have to do too, too much fighting if you don't want to. Just make sure your brothers go ahead and get one immune node there. Two immune node over here. Should be there. And three uh, immune node there. When you hear Carl say, boom, yeah, good boom, brother. When you hear him say something like that, it means that they've destroyed it. So you can just kind of move on to the next one. I'll show you the same accord in a second. And yes, there's a secret there as well. I'll show you that in a second as well. Hopefully one of these guys will destroy this. Which one of you guys are it? Is it? Come on. Okay, that's destroyed. And then we get that one as well. Once you've got all three of these, this middle part's going to open up. Again, you should have done this during Veil Breaker, so I don't really need to explain it. But in case you, I need... Maybe you took a break after the Veil Breaker quest and you can't quite remember the Veil Breaker quest. That's fine. The idea is you kill all three of the immunodes. Once that one detonates there we go and then we just basically shoot this thing in the center and then that allows this little ship down here to go free which is a ship that we'll be using later uh now that we've done this area there should be a veil breaker dude here please don't fall off the edge if they fall off the edge, I believe that unfortunately you could end up getting it bugged out and you may not be able to get these. That can happen. Just to let, just to let you guys be reported of that. Someone in my chat explained it. But anyway, since we're inside this area, I'm just going to go ahead and go over here in case you uh, in case you don't see it. So as if it was going to enter the area, right? Clear out all of this if it's too much. But if you don't want to clear it out, just basically see this these two pillars, like this one here and this one here. You want to jump onto this one over here. And there's some... Oh... Oh, that's semicord number one. <laughs> that was very smooth, Clark. That's semicord number one. Uh, instead of going through the main way that you have to go over there, just look across where the second pillar is. There's a door down there, and that's essentially where semicord number two is going to be. Um, there is, again, the secret there. I can grab that on my way back, but I'll just focus on the second semicord since we're on the semicord topic. And then as soon as you come into this area, if you just simply get to like midway around here if your jetpacking skills are pretty good then that's great um but it should be have they randomized the platforms okay it's there i think they've also randomized the platforms in this room as well because this isn't how it looked last time so just basically look at the platforms on either left or right i didn't know that oh actually it looks like i just came from a different way in that is actually in the same place that we found it last time um, this one's a bit cheeky because it's kind of in the light. You see the light there as opposed to the dark. So it doesn't really catch a twinkle in your eye as much. Um, but just jumped over to one of the platforms either sides. This, when I came in here last time, this was actually inverse. So this side here was actually on that side and that side here was on this side. So it's either going to be left or right when you enter the room. Okay. Anyways, that's where the soma cords are. And you might be able to, I don't know if there is a guy down here. No. Um, I found a Nama down here as well. Um, he doesn't seem to be here this time because it looks like I got him in the previous room. But I'm just going to check down here as well. Right, just a gene stamp and nothing else. Okay. 
Like, not much else to go and see there, but there could be a um, there could be a Nama inside this area. So if you are missing one of the Namas, then do make sure you come over here. All right. Anyways, we'll keep using the jetpack to get around because it's without a doubt the quicker way of getting around. Unless I'm dashing like this. Now we can go back onto the main route. I don't believe I missed anything in this area. Again, there might... Oh, I did. Uh, there might be some gene stamps. Um, but this is going to be like where another one of the uh, things can be. Again, this one isn't always here. This is the one that I started to realize that I came here on my second run. And this one wasn't here. So, obviously, they're, they're rotating is what I'm trying to go and say. Right, that's free. Uh, now we just need one more um, security codes. So we just want to go and keep our eyes peeled for that. And keep your eyes peeled as well. Like I said, because they can rotate, they may not always be in the same position that I'm doing on the video. Um, but I'm just trying to let you guys know that I've done a few runs. So if I happen to say, oh, one's here or one's there or it's not here now, then hopefully that'll give you an idea. But we've got the two semicolons already. Um, we're already working through the gene stamps. You probably should have like about four out of five gene stamps probably by now. Uh, you should have majority of the password caches by now as well. Um, you should have majority of the veil, break uh, veil breakers by now as well. I believe so. Should have majority, maybe four out of five. Uh, potentially and if you don't have the flu right now don't panic too much uh, we're going to be getting the flu in a moment uh, you probably definitely should have already done the immunodes by now because there's just so many around there right and obviously you haven't died so on this area here it doesn't matter how well you do here or how bad you do here it's the same result all right um, and the only tip that i can go and give you is you're going to have to lead a lot with your shots here all right um so just for example you see like that gonna have to lead a lot of your shots try to predict where the ship is going to be but again it doesn't matter if you do good or if you do bad it doesn't matter i don't know what these crystals do but i like blowing them up i can't even unfortunately the ship's got a really awkward angle so you can't always hit everything that you want to so it's like i can't look any further right than that yeah, you see i mean none of them have literally hit me my health in the top right is fine so like I said, it doesn't matter what happens here. Uh, just a good way to go and get some sentient kills for your uh, protovirus armor. Again, if you have that on, you can just do so like this. I can't even get that guy out. Am I not leading? Oh. I'm not leading enough, apparently. All right, there we go. So here, uh, we should be able to go and get the... Uh, hi, all new people in the chat. Sorry, I'm just recording right now. Please bear with me. Um, so now we're inside this area here. You've got the Grattler. This is where, in my opinion, the mission actually gets a bit more fun and enjoyable because the Grattler is an absolute machine of a weapon to go ahead and use. So it's a lot of fun. Um, if you don't want to go and get your team to blow this up, you can actually just go and shoot this yourself like this. There you go. Now it's broken. And you can just kill all the enemies around it. Um, if you can't be bothered to open up command mode, <laughs> just showing you alternative ways that you can go ahead and essentially play around with things right now. Uh, shouldn't be anything here. So we're just going to keep pushing. Uh, as per usual as well, um, I know I'm a bit late into the video for saying it. Um, actually... I'll just talk about this area right here. When you get into this area after you've got the Grattler, this is actually the third different room that I have now seen. Um, you are probably going to get one of three different rooms. One area looks like there's a set, like a giant sentient kind of being formed in the middle. It looks like a Rapunolist, no joke. Uh, the other area is kind of underground. And then there's this area here. Either way, you just need to go and rescue two people in this room. Okay, that's mostly about it. You just need to go and rescue two people inside this room. There's nothing else to go ahead and do here. Let's keep killing. Once again, I'm going to jump down here before my team. And then I'm going to go and get my team to come here as well. So I can get some progress. Looks like I got my... Did I get my protovirus armor done? I think I did. That's nice. These call missions have definitely been a good way to go and get it done. So that's that's been quite handy. I didn't even need to grind it either. I was just passively doing call missions. Right, I can go ahead and jump over here. This one done. 
So it's kind of just like a miniature mobile defense. A lot quicker than a mobile defense by all means. Okay, 7, 9, 8, 9, 9. That's that one done. So I'm just going to quickly grab him and then go down here and start working on the next one. I hope that they will give us an opportunity to do both of these at the same time. But, like, I understand that you can't move your team or split your team. So, but um, just to speed this part up a little bit, doing this every week would uh, definitely become a bit tedious, in my opinion. How have you guys been finding the uh, the coal missions so far? We're unsure. Of I mean, this is definitely the third one, but we're unsure if this will be the final one. Um, if this is the final one, then this will be interesting. If it rotates back around, again, that's what I was going to say earlier, is if you are missing any of the other ones, Sneaky Sabotage, uh, we're currently doing Prison Break. And what was the other one called? I can't quite remember the name. Junk Run or something like that, isn't it? Um, I have all of the guides on my YouTube. So if you need to go and see what's going to do, and if you want to play alongside me and you know, see how someone else does it, then I have all of those videos up there right now. Just approaching the 20 minute mark. It was junk run it was junk run awesome and uh, if it's not too much to ask if these videos do go and help you guys um or help anybody first of all uh, maybe leave a little like on the video it's not too much going to ask for and uh on top of that if you happen to know anyone else that this might go ahead and help then uh, do please go ahead and share the video with them as well all right um now because i've not seen this room and this is the first time i've come across this room i am going to go and see what's just over here real quick um, best advice to go ahead and do is to always go into directions that are not considered the correct direction. So if the waypoint's telling me to go that way, I'm going to go against the waypoint and see what's down here instead. So again, there's another wall there. I'm actually going to get that to blow that, blow that one up whilst I go over here. Okay, it just leads into this area here. Is there actually anything here though? Feel free to speed up the video here, or you can skip through it unless I find something. No, I don't think there's anything here. There's no floof there, is there? Oh, there's a gene stamp, though. They could have probably put a floof there, to be honest. I doubt I can get on this. Oh, I can get on this. Okay, well, then I'm going to check over here, then. No, okay, so I don't happen to see anything in this area. So again, if you didn't want to go down this corridor, you can now just turn back around. Uh, wait, did you guys not blow this up? That was literally the entire job I gave you guys whilst I was going. And they couldn't even do that. Unbelievable. Have they done it? What are they doing? Blow it up. Oh, I just noticed it says... Oh, you can't blow that one up. Oh, no, they can't. Sorry, it's just whole position. Never mind. Right, let's go down here. Okay, so now we're going to go the right way. And this should be one of the last things we have to go and do. Oh. There's another room here. We'll check this room. You see how, like, Carl's generally quite tanky, so never be afraid to, like, um, kind of brute force, your uh, brute force your way past mobs and so forth. If there's no reason to go and kill, then there's no reason to go and kill. I know it's fun to kill with the grappler like this, though, but otherwise you could be in this mission for a lot longer. I wanted to try and see if I could show you the floof. Um, if I generally could not find the floof right here... Uh, again, I can always just go ahead and throw it somewhere inside the editing. I might have already put it in here. I might not have put it in here by now. I'm just going to see if I can find the fleet a little bit later. Uh, but since I'm running from room to room. I don't really care if uh, if he dies. <laughs> He's slowing me down. Let's keep going this way. There is that one there as well. I'm assuming I can't. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, some walls you can blow up. Some walls you can't. It's a bit weird. Right, uh, last few areas going check before we get into a fight. 
Okay, so this is great. So this is the last uh, code that we needed. So I'm glad that I found that. Uh, so you might be able to find a floof here. Now, what I'm going to do is um, hopefully you'll see like a, a, a past footage come up right now. Um, I found a floof here and it was kind of facing the wall. So I'm going to try and put that one in there. Um, I also found another floof as well at some point. I tend to found the floofs once I had got the Grattler in my hands and I didn't find it before the Grattler. Um, but just to let you know that you can go and find floofs somewhere within these areas um, whilst also go ahead and get in the code. Anyways, hopefully I should be back right now on the codes. So there we go. We got the four out of four codes and the cache will uh, more likely be inside the little last area to go to. Um, so uh, let's go ahead and check down here because maybe it'll be now that I'll find the floof, right? <laughs> no, it's not. Okay, that's fine. But there's a there's a, a dead body down here so you can go ahead and grab that. And again, in case you haven't got your immunos, you can do it. As you can clearly see now throughout the entire run, the immunos are probably the easiest things going to get because they're always there. They're always in the way as well. So that's totally fine. So let's go on to this next section. And what will happen here, as you kill these guys, is for some of the reason there's a health bar up there, but you can ignore that. But anyways, it's Wolf on Saturn 6. And yes, before you ask, he is as tanky as he used to be. Actually, if anything, he's not as tanky as he used to be, but he's still definitely tanky. He's going to do the spin attack and whatnot. Um... When you are in a bit of a bad spot, just use your jetpack to go ahead and get away from him. It's just a lot easier at this point. And uh, if you've got any nades, just go to throw your nades out. Just go and use everything and anything you can. I don't think you can really stun him as much with your third ability. Um, I did use my third ability to try and see if I could stun him. It might be able to cancel an animation though, so if he does the wind up. No, uh, it looks like it just doesn't affect him full stop. But, um, it's a very typical wolf fight. If you're new to wolf, well, there you go. You don't have to worry about it as much. Oh, my goodness. Wait, I can't shoot you. I can't shoot you. <laughs> I certainly cannot shoot you. Oh, there you go. Okay, I had like an animation bug. There you go. And then he kind of just disappears anyway. So is that the end of Wolf? No, as you can imagine, your team will TP out and then that's basically you done. However, just before you go and finish, you can see that the rare cache is here. This will be the cache that you need to go and shoot open. If you're fighting Wolf, the odds are you would have done it naturally and been like, where the hell was it? It's right here. So when you come into this room, it's always the first left-hand pillar before the crystal. It's there, okay? It's just like a normal kind of glowing green ear cache. There's not, there's not much else to it. But that's basically the entire mission. Um, keep in mind, uh, I think if I was to go ahead and do this my first time, I would have missed one Veil Breaker Nama, but it kind of just somewhat depends. And like I said, sometimes they can fall off, and when they do fall off, it kind of basically kills them. And I don't know if that's supposed to be the case there, but it can also go ahead and make you one less Nama, so you might have to come in and do it again. Otherwise, we did the Sentient Ear Nodes, we did the Passwords, we fought, well... Technically, I've edited the footage in for finding the missing floof. We did the gene stamps. We technically didn't die. And then there was the veil breakers, right? But just to give you an idea as to what you're looking for, a lot of this one kind of changes, whereas last week's was a bit more set for, set for junk run. And sneaky sabotage was a bit more random as well. This one also happens to be a bit more random for prison break. But anyways, it's pretty much straightforward once you know what you're looking for. So hopefully the video has helped you guys. Uh, There's not much else going to say from here except from, again, how have you guys been fighting the missions? I assume next week's one will more or let you rotate back to Sneaky Sabotage. Again, guys, if it does, I've got videos already on my YouTube, so feel free to go and check those out. But as always, thank you guys for watching today's video. I do appreciate it. Like, comment, subscribe, share, whatever you guys can go and do to support. Um, and uh, I will just see you guys again in the next one, all right? Thanks for watching, man. I appreciate it. <laughs>